While I was in art school, I became very interested in iconic images. I was drawn to pictures that stood out, like what were the mechanics? What, what was going on in these pictures that made them so powerful? And I, I kind of became obsessed with it. But then again, iconic pictures are become famous or, or recognized by the media, by the people, not, not by me. I don't have control over, you know, all I can do is try to make a powerful picture or a picture as best as I can. So, you know, it's um, in a way when I think, the, when I've looked back over my work, the most powerful pictures I've made are with either just, first of all, with the most simplest setup. They're usually not very elaborate. And then it's just a matter of there's this certain kind of uh, a fluid moment, like a spontaneous moment going on, where all this energy just comes together and it's just perfect. I mean, there's a picture I took of a, a boy in the audience at the last Rolling Stones concert uh, in Virginia, and he's standing in the crowd. Everything's out of focus except him. And he's got his fist in the air and he's just looking straight at me. And it's not the picture, it's the feeling the picture ev evokes um, that just gets me. I never get tired of it. You know, it was magic and I felt it. I knew it in the moment that I made that picture. And with a lot of pictures I've made that are powerful pictures, I could feel it in the moment I made it. It was... Sorry, bring it over this way. So swing that out so it's straight, the umbrella is straight into me. Yep. And then down. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm doing two things. I'm setting the light to uh, where it should be for the portraits I make with the 8x10 camera. We're doing it in another studio, so I'm recreating the setup I have in my own studio. Um, and the relationship from the umbrella, from where the light is hitting the umbrella, to me, uh, versus the light to the background, is the ratio that I'm, I'm uh, looking to achieve. So actually, we could go a little bit further. Like I could bring, I could come up a little bit. We could all move a, a, away from the background a little bit. And then we would have a, a slightly darker gray. Yeah, that's probably good. F8-4. And then I should probably have 283. It's like, it's a perfect three stops. Like if it was two stops, it would be a lighter gray. One stop, lighter gray. And then the furthest I ever go is six tenths. It's like a breath of gray. It's just like a light, 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 light gray. But this is good. It'll be, in, it'll be perfect for the camera, for the uh, phone. Yeah, let's bring the students in. Let's, uh, let's have a class. All right. Um, hey, I'm gonna tell you uh, how I discovered photography. And, um, and then I'm gonna ask you how each of you discovered photography. So, um, it all started one day I was coming out of class, I was in the fifth grade, and there was this doorway in the hall that opened a crack and a classmate of mine said, hey, you wanna see something cool? I said, sure, I walked in and the room was filled with all this equipment that I had no idea what it was in a big sink. And he shut the lights out, pulled out a piece of paper, put it under the enlarger, exposed it, and then put it in the developer, and this image came up, and it was like magic. And I, I said, man, I gotta do this. This is amazing, you know? I went home, asked my family for a camera. I said, man, I just discovered photography day. I gotta get a camera. And they said, listen, you know, you've, had, you've gotten into so many hobbies. You know, we'll make a deal with you if you, uh, if you're still interested in photography in, in a year, we'll get you a camera. 
And so for a year, I went to the dark room, that dark room in school, uh, you know, a couple times a week and printed in there um, negatives from my, this shoe box that we had in the closet of family photos. So I spent the first year being in the dark room printing. And after the, the year was up, they bought me a camera. So I just started going around taking pictures of uh, like the, our pet dog or, you know, just landscapes or details or things that I'd seen other pictures of. I thought, well, I'll take that picture and then I have it for myself. Then I started taking photography classes um, in school and uh, getting assignments to make portraits and uh, other kinds of uh, pictures. I just kind of always wanted to have the camera handy. It, it was very powerful to pick up a camera and point it at some, somebody or it just felt very powerful. So, um, anyway, I'd love to hear your stories. And so, um, why don't we start with you, Tyler? Yeah. Um, I found a little point and shoot camera that my mom had in a drawer in our house. I always like had my small little camera and was taking like all these nice little shots and I couldn't wait to like come back to see the photos that I got. Um, I had applied and signed up for like a black and white photo class. And I mean, I didn't know what I, what I was expecting. And then like five years later, I'm like studying to get a bachelor's in photo and video, so. My father always kind of followed us around as kids with cameras and he had a really fancy camcorder that I would kind of walk around with. I must have been like eight eight or nine. Um, and then when I was 17, my brother was taking, he took me to some show, he's a DJ. And he said, here's my Nikon D40. He's like, just take pictures. And I like, I immediately fell in love. Wow, yeah. cool. I guess why I really liked photo was because it was the only thing that I felt like I could create a product and then actually feel like fulfilled by. And that really wasn't any of the case in anything else I did in my life, like, and so that kind of stemmed what we are today. You know, it's funny, it's, it's interesting because I think when you find what it is you really love to do, it really brings out, yeah. brings out your intelligence or your, your sensitivity or creativity. And I've seen you come up with some incredible um, ideas and, uh, direction and uh, no, this is definitely the right place for you.